The big story at five, separate court appearances today for the girls charged in the Slender Man stabbing. Court documents show 12-year-old Anissa Wire and Morgan Geiser nearly killed their classmate to try and please an online fictional character. The girls are charged as adults, but their attorneys are still addressing their competency. Tom Murray was in court today. He's live at the Waukesha County Courthouse with the latest developments. Tom. Carol, Mike, Morgan Geyser, and Anissa Wire appeared separately for just a few minutes each here today. The big questions, do these young girls have the ability to assist in their own defense, and do they even understand what's going on in court? Hi, Morgan. A deputy escorted 12-year-old Morgan Geyser into court. Chains wrapped her legs and arms. A judge ordered the courtroom camera to not capture the girls' faces today. We're asking that uh, Ms. Geyser be, have a competency evaluation. Um, we have reason to believe that uh, there are issues with her competency. The court commissioner ordered a doctor to evaluate Morgan Geyser and that those records will be sealed. Her father said nothing as he left the basement courtroom. We did speak with Geyser's attorney. The specifics of it I'm not going to get into. I'm not going to say a darn thing about why we, why we have reason to doubt it or believe that she may not be competent. Geyser and friend Anissa Wire are accused of stabbing their friend nearly to death to please the online fictional horror character Slender Man. Wire also appeared in court for a few short minutes. I filed a motion. Her attorney said they are still evaluating their client's competency and her ability to understand what's going on in court, but stopped short of asking for a doctor's evaluation. There will be no comments at this time. Wire's father also left without taking questions. His daughter is represented by the state public defender. We're very interested in having uh, this case um, assigned to the juvenile court where we think it's the best place to dispose of the facts of this case. Now, there was no talk of Slender Man or the young victim in court today. That girl's family posting on Facebook that her stab wounds are healing much faster than originally anticipated and that she is now recovering at home. Live tonight at the Waukesha County Courthouse, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. That, of course, is welcome news. Thank you, Tom.